Hello there and welcome to TV Sarawak, bringing you the eye on the news for Monday. Kidurong cluster was declared ended for not recording positive COVID-19 cases in 28 consecutive days, leaving Sarawak with another seven more active clusters. Sarawak Disaster Management Committee, SDMC, in a press statement said the clusters are construction site cluster, engineering company cluster, Mambong cluster, medical center cluster, Jupiter cluster, Stutong market cluster and Jetty cluster. The statement read the Jetty cluster is a new cluster detected on July 19th involving two positive COVID-19 cases at a fisheries ship jetty in Pending, namely the 584th and 603rd cases. Both cases are Indonesian men working in the same fishing company. Compensating landowners whose land have been affected by projects implemented by the government is yet another testimony. The government recognised the native customary right land under Section 6. Reiterating this all over, Deputy Chief Minister Dato Ahmad Douglas Ugamba said the owners would be compensated fairly should such land be needed for any development purposes. He said this after presenting 474,000 ringgit in compensation to 27 recipients whose land had been affected by a road project in Ulubayo in Dunba yesterday. Meanwhile, the coming 12th state election will be conducted in a new normal, different from those previously conducted due to COVID-19 pandemic. Thus, Dato Ahmad Douglas Uga told the Bukit Saban members of Pati Pesaka Bumi Putra Bersatu to get ready as there will be new regulations and procedures in place to suit every member's health conditions. Uga, who is Bukit Saban PBB chairman, added the challenge would involve adhering to the standard operating procedures, especially the social distancing all the time during the election. And as all for now, I'm Yume Suryani. Salam Sarawakusayang.